Hi, I'm Bob, the product manager for Brother QL Label Printers. Today we're going to talk to you about the and new Android SDK available for the QL800 series. So I'm just going to show you here that we downloaded the SDK, the version 3.0.6, and just that basically here the, you have the Brother SDK part. It's made up of the APK sample application that we have the libraries and then we actually have the sample application code as well in a folder. So I'm just going to take you through a little bit about the manual first in just understanding how the, the SDK is laid out. So the APK file like I mentioned is the demo package application that you can drop down on a phone and, and use directly. We have our libraries and our uh, the ARM EABI files located in the lib folder and then we have our sample application. Our sample application development environment is using Android Studio version uh, 2.1.1 or later. Programming language is in Java. And then we'll basically, I'm gonna take you through some of the application part, the sample application, go through some of the pieces of it and how we can modify some of it some of it to do some of the extra uh, functionality that the SDK provides. So now we'll open up Android Studio here, in which I already opened our application. So if we take a look here, we see that the library files and the brother print library jar file is attached and the mobile print uh, lib folder is attached as well. And then underneath the Java part of it here is all of our source code. So it's broken up into the multiple different activities that we can do with the sample application. And we'll take a look at that in a, in a minute. And then we have those you know, um, activities there. So we'll look at some of the source code that is here. Once I uh, put the application into debug mode, we'll be able to trace through some of the application part there. So we're going to go here and we're going to run the application in debug. And we're going to pick it to my phone here to run it on. So in this side of the sample application, we have a couple of options here to print images or a PRN file. Then we have the print a PDF, print template, manage templates, and device settings. So the first part that we're going to just go into quickly here is images and files. And we're going to go into the um, select an image first. We have a sample image already set here. Oops. Click OK. Then we're going to go into printer settings. And we're going to pick our model that we have here to go and search for. So these are all defined in the application, it's sample application itself. We can pick the printer that we're going to look for. And then we can pick what port it is on. So we're going to just do it off of a network that I have set up here. And then when we click the net printer part, it will go out and search for the uh, printers that are on the network. And as you see here, we see the the uh, Brother QL820NWB printer that it found. It gives us its IP address, it gives us its MAC address, and then on the bottom here is actually the node name that it, that it gives us as well. And that node name can also be defined later either through the web browser application or the printer setup tools to be a customized name that you give it as long as it's unique on the network. So now here we found one printer, the QL820NWB printers on the, on the network here. Basically we can pick that printer and we'll assign it the IP address. And then we'll be able to set the other settings in the printer as well from this application, portrait mode, landscape mode, uh, whether we want the image to be scaled and fit the size of the label printer. 
this makes it easier so that if the image is a little bit bigger than what the uh, paper size that's inside the printer, it won't give you an error message. It'll automatically scale it to make it larger or smaller to fit onto that label. The one thing to note is when you are making the image for the paper size that you want, the printer is a 300 DPI printer. So that means there's 300 dots per inch. So if you want a label that is 2.4 inches by about three inches, then you want to make sure that you multiply the 2.4 by 300 to get the width size. And you take the three inch and you multiply that by 300 to get the width size. And that will give you the pixel dimension that you should define for the label. That will give you the best resolution when printing the information through the printer. So now that we have that, we can actually come back here and we'll modify some of the code in order to show you how, instead of searching for one particular model that we have, we actually have some other commands where we can pass an array of printers. So instead of just searching for the QL820NWB, we can search for both the QL810W and the QL820NWB and find multiple printers. So we'll do that in a second here and comment this out and then we'll uh, rerun the application to show you how that is done. So now that we're back, we're going to uh, modify the code here so that we can see multiple printers on the network of different models. So once we come into this uh, part here that actually does the searching for the printers in this part here called the net printer list, Basically, I already added some of the code here to do this, and we are going to come in here, and we are going to uncomment the code that I put here to basically set the array. So I'm going to come here, take out the model name list uncomment out this code here. Convert the model. And then I'm searching, instead of searching for one model name, basically we're going to come here and we're going to uncomment the code to pass in the string array which has both the models uh, up here for the QL810W and the brother QL 820 NWB. Now we'll rerun this application onto the phone. So we'll stop the current one, have it recompile, run this over here. And then when we do the search, we'll see a different result than when we first did, where we only saw the brother QL 820 NW we should see two models. So now that it's running, we're gonna go back into image printing. We're gonna select our image again. And then we're gonna go into printer settings. And then here we're gonna click on to search for the printer again. And now we'll go out and search. But instead it's gonna use our modify code and as you see here, we have that I found a Brother QL810W printer, and it gives us the IP address for that one, and its MAC address, and its uh, node name, and then also it found the QL820NWB. So this shows you how we can modify the application to also search for many different printers on the network as well, instead of just one particular model. So we'll get out of this. And then also available on here, we have a uh, printer status. So this actually calls out to the printer to get status, whether there is an error state or anything else on there. What we also did was modify this slightly in the application here where instead of it just returning just the print result, we can actually get some label information. So in this case, you can add 
parts to the app to the application in order to get the label information that's in the printer. So we'll go through and just um, run on the print status on that. And we have a I have a breakpoint here so that we can stop and actually see the result that gets returned. So once we step over this, we can go to our label result here. We can add this and then we can take a look and we can see the label index here is number 17. So what that basically means is when we look into the spreadsheet here that's in the manual there's an option here to tell us what is the list of the different models and what printer labels are available. So in here then we have our list here and we see that 17 is the um, 64 millimeter red and black label that's in the machine and then if we variously change this to a different one it would give us a different index based on that list and this is an easy way to figure out to make sure prior to somebody printing the label that if your application needs a specific label you can utilize this function call to basically make sure that the label is in the printer and if it's not the correct label you can prompt the user with a message saying that you need to insert this particular DK label role. So those are some uh, enhanced features that you can add into the the code to utilize some of the other portions of the SDK uh, on the Android application. Now I'd like to show you how we can actually print from the um, sample application here. We have a, as I mentioned before, we opened up this. This is a uh, red and black label. So we're going to go into the printer settings again. And we're going to select some of the information here, like the paper size. We're going to pick the W62RB, which is the red and black label roll. So that's the DK2251 that prints the red and black. The other thing we're going to do is change the portrait to landscape for this particular name badge. And then we're going to say fit to page. There. And then the last thing we're going to go down is check the cutting options. So cutting settings here, and we're going to set it for auto cut so that it cuts at the after it prints the label. Then we're going to go back to here, and then we're going to click on the print because we already selected our printer from before. And then out comes our label with the visitor badge of the image that we selected. And then as I mentioned before, there are a couple more options with this. So in this SDK, for the Brother QL820NWB, it also supports Bluetooth. It also supports a USB connection, and that also supports on the Brother QL800 as well, that you can have, a uh, with the Android application, have a connection to the USB as we saw uh, previously using the Android iPrint and label. So we can pick Bluetooth and it will actually go out and find the printer via Bluetooth and give you a list there of the printers that have found Bluetooth and basically you can pick the model that it is there for the printer and then be able to print to it. Is that one there. And then it basically, if we come here and do the same exact thing, we can also print to it as well over the Bluetooth connection. So again, we have our same label, just different connection. We printed it over Wi-Fi, and now we printed it over Bluetooth 
to be able to connect. There are a few more options in the SDK that we will provide in later sessions to go over downloading templates and managing those type of information in a later video. We thank you for watching. We hope this was informative for you. For more information, visit brother.com.